Kimberly Bryant found herself smack dab in the middle of a white, male-dominated field while getting her electrical engineering degree at Vanderbilt. Many times I, I felt like giving up or quitting because it was a very difficult road. Um, it took a lot for me to even navigate how to be successful in that environment. After college, her work environment was more of the same. People would not talk to me. They would talk to like the junior engineer or my assistant as opposed to directing their conversation to me as the project manager. I find myself often um, really having to fight to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times better than the average, my average peer, just to reach the same level of success. Fast forward 15 years and she was witnessing her teenage daughter facing the same fate at a game development summer camp. A room full of little boys that, you know, were all over the place and, you know, really very vocal and there was only one student of color and that was my daughter. And that was very shocking for me. Just 25% of science and technology jobs are filled by women. Only 3% of those are black and just 1% Hispanic. We have more STEM jobs available than then we have graduates to fill them. Kimberly left the corporate world to develop Black Girls Code, or BGC. The mission of Black Girls Code is to change this ratio for women of color and technology by increasing the pipeline of women that are majoring in computer science and eventually, we hope, becoming the future leaders of the companies like the Facebooks and the Googles of tomorrow. Coding and stuff is just really cool. 14-year-old Azor Butler has been with BGC for three years. Being able to learn how to code and building apps and games and robots and all these things, like you don't learn that in school. They're taking real world problems that they see in their community and creating a solution around that utilizing technology. In just four years, Black Girls Code has developed after school programs, weekend workshops, and summer camps that reach 5,000 girls in 10 states. They're doing it not necessarily alone, but within a group of girls that look like them, come from similar backgrounds as them, but have some of the same interests. Now they're teaching us um, about more about robots and technology, and we went to IBM, the Tech Museum, and NASA. Helping these young ladies move from being just a consumer of technology to a creator of it. I'm Jessica Sanchez, reporting.